The close air support trainers that we have here at Fort Sill is saving lives out on the battlefield. Using a simulator, it's having the opportunity for the individuals to make mistakes here, and I guarantee you that individuals are not going to make that same mistake twice. The close air support training module is enclosed by a circular rear projection screen. A series of projectors displays a 315 degree terrain view onto the screen. Each projector is controlled by a computer that scales and blends the images. The combination of circular projection and surround sound creates a very realistic training environment. This is where the training becomes immersive. We have an SA-13 uh, visible standby for fire mission, over. Battle 1-9 is still 1-9, standing by, over. Steel 1-9, this is Battle 1-9, fire Alpha Bravo 1-0-1-0, over. Fire Alpha Bravo 1-0-1-0, out. Runs complete out, stand by for end of mission. Good impacts. End of mission, SA-13 is suppressed and destroyed. The cast trainer that we have here uh, presently at Fort Sill in, in the entire JFES um, is a great tool because now you can put in actual threats, you can put in different types of maneuver vehicles, so it's really huge and it helps out the uh, forward observers. In the simulator, the soldiers can practice talking directly to inbound pilots and those circling the area. On the northeast side of building 2-1, you're going to see a vehicle that looks like uh, about two or three uh, individuals setting up a mortar team. Chief, this may go 2-2 and from the north, tally target. They're inbound right now. Right. MB advise me, go ahead, you visual. All right, rounds in, rounds in. The vehicle and the personnel are destroyed. I think it's an opportunity for the soldiers to see the viewpoint as a pilot. It also gets them to see how actually a pilot's going to come over their shoulder and actually fire onto targets. We have a RPG team in uh, the open. That is your target, call tally target. Contact, I see one vehicle, looks like a uh, van with dismount. Be advised, building 2-4 is a shrine, national monument. Uh, we need to ensure that we have no collateral damage on that. With the world uh, out there now in Iraq, it's made more uh, cast missions that are very viable, and the collateral damage is a big issue. So they want aircraft to actually have more precise munitions, which is better for us, so the collateral damage is brought down to a minimum. And uh, be advised, your personnel are still uh, grouped around that vehicle. Bombs should be impacted on the turn. And 2-2, uh, two, two, uh, good bombs, and 2-2, uh, two, two, say when ready for next target. We're finding that in a simulator, we can teach the individuals on the ground what to say, when to say it, and how to say it properly in order to get the ordinance from the aircraft to impact the target properly and, and effectively uh, in minimizing fratricide. Uh, soldiers are learning what to do in simulation uh, before they get out into Afghanistan or Iraq.